New at 6, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation is making progress on its backlog of thousands of sexual assault kits. The kits have already identified 88 suspects. Channel 2's Richard Elliott is at GBI headquarters in South DeKalb County. There are still many more kits to review. The GBI crime lab, along with outsource labs, started going through this big backlog about a year ago. They've made it through nearly a thousand, but as they told the House Speaker today, they've still got 2,000 left. This is where the whole process begins uh, for DNA. House Speaker David Ralston and other Georgia lawmakers toured the GBI's crime lab Monday to find out more about these. This is a mock up of a sexual assault kit, usually used at a hospital to gather evidence after an attack. Georgia had more than 5,000 kits backlogged for as long as 10 years. After the legislature passed a law requiring testing, the GBI started processing them last summer. Since then, they've tested 979 kits, and from those, they say they got 88 hits on the national DNA database, meaning they've identified 88 suspects in those cases. Speaker Ralston helped push that bill through the state house. He says this is a big step to getting justice for victims. It's really uh, very, very gratifying to know that you know, we can really look victims in the eye now and tell them that we uh, that, that we're serious about bringing justice. And State Rep. Scott Holcomb wrote the bill requiring the testing. He says it's just as important to make sure that there's never a backlog again. I'm very encouraged. We know that this problem is going to be solved. GBI Director Vernon Keenan says they expect to have 95 percent of the rape kits tested by June 2019. We're bringing justice to sexual assault victims and law enforcement and prosecutors are very thankful and I know that the victims are. And remember the crime lab also has to go through new rape kits that are coming in along with doing DNA testing for other crimes as well. In DeKalb County, I'm Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News.